The next knot is called the hitch knot. There are several variations and alterations for this knot and I would like to show them all. So for that I have used eight working cords here. So I'm going to take the outermost cord on the left and place it across the other cords like so. I'm placing it over and across all the other cords. Now to make the half hitch I shall be using this cord as my holding cord and the other seven as my working cords. So to form the first half hitch, take the first working cord place it over the holding cord bring it through the loop and out and tight that is called a half hitch now to complete this stitch you will be repeating that same step one more time bringing the end of the cord over the holding cord, down and through the loop out here. That is called a double half hitch because you are doing it twice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I shall repeat the same stitch in the other working cords now. So, the working cord is placed over the holding cord and bring the end down and through the loop. Repeat that once more. So if you see already, I'm starting to get something like a straight line here. Let's continue. Over the holding cord, down and through the loop. Over, down, through the loop. I'm going to repeat for these last two cards as well. Over, under, and through the loop. Over, under, through the loop. Over, under. And the last knot over under and we are done with one line of double half hitches so as we can see I have made a horizontal row of half hitches so this forms like a horizontal line on my project so the same double half hitches can be used to form diagonal lines, 
vertical lines and more horizontal lines back and forth and back and forth. So to make a diagonal line, the holding cord can be placed at a diagonal angle and it can be held in place a little loosely using a pin. This sort of gives you an idea of exactly how diagonal or the angle at which you need to make the half hitches. So once you have that angle in your mind, repeat the same stitches at a diagonal angle now. So take the first working cord over the holding cord, under and out through the loop. Tighten it. Repeat over, under, through the loop. That forms the first double half hitch. Now for the second cord, over, under, through the loop. We're going to continue this with all the other working cords and I'll meet you at the end. So at the end of the row we have the diagonal line of double half hitches right here. To do another line of the same diagonal we're going to use this outermost cord on the right and use this as the holding cord like so. Just going to make a parallel line of knots just below this diagonal line of half hitches. Let's finish this and I will meet you back. At the end of the second row we have another row of diagonal half hitches right here. And if you observe closely, you will see that there is a shift from right to left of the stitches. So the first stitch came there for the first diagonal row. The first stitch was right there. For the second diagonal row, the first stitch has shifted a little bit to the left. Now if you were to continue in the same manner, your stitches or your knots will continue to shift to the left and this is a useful technique in making wall hangings where you want the pattern to move first one side in one direction and then in another direction. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions please leave a comment and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.